So, can I ask this question? Do you regular masturbate? You can ask that question. You're not going to answer. Hey. Hello. Nice to meet you. And you. And Matt. And I'm Victoria. Nice to meet you, Victoria. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. I'm a priest in the Church of England. That's oh, what wow. my job is. Oh, wow. And, okay. And you? So I'm um, a porn star. <laughs> Priest and a porn star. <laughs> Great. Make a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a reductionist thing. Why don't you tell me why you think, why you strongly disagree? I'm gonna sit on this line for a little You're while. You're gonna stay on the line? If, if, <laughs> that's, a, on the if that's okay with you. Um. <laughs> well, obviously there's, there's some people that are forced into it that shouldn't be, that is completely wrong. But if somebody is happily doing that, why is it wrong? How many people go on, on porn sites? I bet it's 90% of, well, the population. Yeah. Sure. Have you been on a porn site? <laughs> <laughs> it's an expose. <laughs> have you? Um, well, you know, I'm a person as well. You have, haven't you? I think the, the mass adoption of porn is what makes it really dangerous. I don't think porn exploits people. I think people exploit people. And I think some people within the porn industry probably are exploiting people. It is a, a largely unregulated. Um, and I think much of porn is openly misogynistic, heteronormative, I definitely want to say. It's, it's, it's objectifying. At its very worst, it, it can encourage our kind of rape culture. If we're going to have porn, if it's going to be we, a big part of our culture... It does need to be regulated. And we need a higher quality porn. We need higher quality porn that shows high people... High quality porn, yeah. not high quality regulator, do no, you? No, no, higher quality porn which shows people how to respect Oh, you each want other. Like the you loving know, sacks. You well, want a lot more I mean, than loving sacks. Whatever, we need, we need to... But there is that out there. Sure, yeah. I've got lots of scenes like that. I'm, I'm very glad to hear, yeah, I'm very glad to hear. Go ahead, go on. <laughs> Why do you agree? Well, I mean, so I'm not wearing a dog collar. In our particular part of the church, in my tradition, we don't wear dog collars very often. Okay. Um, but if I were, the type of things that people shout at you in, in the street are things like, paedophile. Really? Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, I mean, there's, there's been so much in the media about um, priests yep. um, who have abused their position. Yeah, of course. Um, and, and religion has abused its position so often in the history of mankind. I didn't think you'd actually get abused, to be honest. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a mean world I, out there. Well, <laughs> I really didn't think that you would get abused if you had a collar on. I find, I find that quite okay. shocking. But I get a lot of, I'm sure you can imagine. Sure, yeah. Tell me. Um, from the school teachers, from my neighbours, mm. from the police even. I won't even phone the police if there's an emergency, if I can mm. deal with it myself. Because I just kind of feel like, well, mm. she does that, she's bought it on herself. Yeah. A lot of women don't want to accept me as a friend because they think i have run off with a boyfriend or... Sure, yeah. That's horrible. <laughs> it is horrible. It's horrible to be so cast onto the edge of society. Yeah. Do you have any examples of kind of times that you've received abuse? I'll tell you, there's one that sticks in mind is to do with the church. Is because I do go great, to the church. Great. <laughs> Represent. <laughs> a member of the church had printed off some indecent pictures of me that they'd found online and handed them around the, the church and they don't want me or my family part of the church. The vicar was lovely actually and he's accepted me but you see there's many people that don't want me in that church. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that anyone in the church would ever do that to you. I mean it's terrible. Also what was they doing on them sites? Yeah, te a terrible <laughs> way to go about it. This should be stopped. Everybody have a copy. I mean, I, I want to caveat my answer uh, just to say I do think sex finds its fulfillment in long-term loving relationships. 
and marriage is a really good example of that. I but think, what if somebody doesn't want to get married and they're happy on their own, but they have the, that desire? I'd, I'd want to say that that's a symptom. If, if you feel happy on your own, but you're not that happy because you need to hook up with your friend, like there's something within you which craves for something more. The reason that I think that we sh should perhaps not do that is not because I'm like, well, hey, everyone stop having fun. I believe there's more fun to be had. That like the depths of getting to know somebody alongside that intimate relationship, I think is, is probably, is, is far better. I completely understand that. But what, like, what if you go into a situation where there's couples that enjoy having somebody else? In their sexual... I guess I'd want to ask voice. why. Like, what, what is it that in your own relationship? Do you think there's something missing? Because well, that's, the go that's why they're going for that. Maybe so. And, and, not, and I don't want to come across like, well, thankfully I've got it <laughs> sorted. I don't want no threesomes. Because we all have like this broken longing within us. You know, I'm not sure that kind of taking your marriage or your, long, your partnership or whatever and saying like, oh, let's bring someone else in, they'll solve it. People are so busy now, they've got busy lives, you know, yeah. they, they spend that much time yeah, yeah. out and stuff like that. We don't have much time to make those relationships and sometimes we just fulfil that need. Yeah, yeah, totally. I'm sympathetic to that through and through. I just don't know if that's really living. That you don't have time to like build a solid foundation, an intimate relationship in your life. I don't have time to build a solid intimate relationship apart from, um, you know, no, just the children. I don't have time for that. And I think that is a poor reflection on our society. I'm surprised you, were, you even disagreed. Why are you surprised that I landed here? I don't know. I just kind of... Seem judgy. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So, so it's fine. So it's fine to, to please yourself. I guess, you know, masturbation, it's fine. Just. What are you looking at? And is it okay to masturbate looking at porn, normal porn? Do you think? I mean, or I, should that just be? Because even even if you masturbate, and you're imagining. It's it's make believe. I, I think I'd want to go. You're back. not really thinking. You're sat in the toilet, like, <laughs> like it's an imagination, and we fulfil that imagination. So I, I think I'd want to go back to some of the arguments earlier about some of the darker side of porn. It can it can be really misogynistic. It can objectify. It does objectify. This guy becomes his cock. This woman just becomes a bunch of orifices. We walk around, and that's how we can begin to see people. If you immerse yourself in that world enough. But that is a small percentage. And that could happen on many of different subjects, not just porn. No, totally, totally. Which is why, I you know, which is why I think like it's it's probably not as black and white yeah. as we've made it. There are many shades of grey. Yeah. There are fifty shades of grey. Why didn't I say <laughs> there were fifty shades of grey? There are at least fifty shades of grey. <laughs> so, can I ask this question? Do you regular masturbate? You can ask that question. You're not going to answer. No, I'm going to answer. No, I don't. Okay. Um, no. Do you try not to? Do you hold that urge off? I, just, I got little kids, I'm too tired for that. <laughs> oh, right, okay, okay. So you are in like a marriage and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, get, get, get the Catholic priest here who, you know, has vowed to celibacy and we'll see what he's got to say about I it. That'd be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed you were single. I... No, married, yeah. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> I consider my job a vocation, like far more than like a career. I, th I feel that it's something that I'm called to do. I feel like I couldn't do anything else. This is this is what I'm made for, and I, and in that sense, I love it. And you? So I, yeah, strongly. I love my job. I work for myself. It means that I can take the children to school. I can always pick the children back up. I can always put them in bed. Well, mm. ninety percent of the time. Mm. And it just it fits round. And, and why not? It's my body. If I feel comfortable enough to do that, yeah. I really enjoy it. I do enjoy it. And I can see me doing this until I retire. <laughs> oh, that's Come so on. nice. <laughs> of course. This has been great. Yeah, it's really been interesting. And you're a lovely person. No, thank you. This, Is, this has been great. You know, we do have the canines, we do have the incisors for ripping and tearing, 
um, there's some really interesting information and studies that people have found out there about our, our early ancestors and how eating meat and the specific proteins from meat actually made us human as we are today. I do often wonder if vegans are maybe the devolution of man. Like in 20 years, maybe, maybe we're going to turn back into like monkeys or, you know.